Hi, lovely people. Let me show you how to make one simple and delicious recipe. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this beautiful saltimbocca of chicken. What do you mean saltimbocca? The word salt, I mean jump. You know, bocca means mouth. So <laughs> you're gonna have something chicken jumped inside your mouth. Yes, three ingredient maximum flavor. What is it? It is chicken, parmigiano reggiano, and prosciutto. Nothing to it. So, place a slice of chicken on a clean film and you cover up another clean film. So you get anything. Now I don't have anything to bang, but I got nice. You make quite thin, this. Then you get another one. You can see some of those I already smashed. Just a little bit and you put them on the side find one you can see how nice and fine it's only take a minute to do it okay let's clean my hands again look at that you come to see me that's unbelievable i have a public to come to see me bless you can you say hi 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 hello my friend i'm cooking by the way then you get a nice piece of a parmesan or a small one and you shave it look at the way it shapes Yes, enough. Let's put this one back. Then you got lovely prosciutto, which I already cut it. Just put them on top. You press it. You get another slice of a prosciutto. Put them on top. If you move straight to the sage, look at this lovely sage. They are wonderful. That's perfect. Oh, the smell is so good. You get a couple of leaves. Doesn't matter which way you put them on top. Ah, you get normally skewers or toothpick you get from underneath you don't need much of uh, the cheese to do it get on top and you press it now i've got frying pan just put them on top while the pans get hot you just put a little bit of a flour and then you have another one okay is that just a little bit actually large knob of butter Put them in a pan and let it melt. It's done. Now, you take each slice and just put them inside. Just with the flour underneath. Oh my gosh. Nice. The smell is unbelievable. If you notice it, I never put any salt because you get a lovely salt flavor inside of the Parmigiano. The prosciutto spot salted as well. So if you put extra one, it wouldn't be good. So you start to turn it to one side, then you turn the other one. And you also cook for about a couple of minutes each side. The other side is done. And then again, you go the other side. At this stage, it's cooked altogether three to four minutes maximum. You get some lovely white wine and what we call a little spruzzatina. Just put them inside. Oh my goodness. So the steam of the wine will get right underneath. So when they actually sealed, the flavor gets right through and the goodness of the Parmesan inside make an harmony. Oh my gosh. Stir them around a little bit. Yes! This sauce is marvelous. Just put them on top. I come from a place where lemons everywhere. Just for my sake, to give it a little squeeze of lemon, just a little touch. A little bit of black pepper is the spice. So easy to make, you can do it. And look at this. The smell is unbelievable. Oh my, my. But let me tell you which is the secret of this lovely, simple dish. It's the Parmigiano. See how big is this piece? Is? That is for me. I'm going to steal it. Something more of chicken with Parmigiano Reggiano and a good prosciutto. And when you taste it, believe me or not, it do jump inside your mouth. Arrivederci. Shall we say arrivederci? Arrivederci. Grazie. Ciao.